Hey guys, it's Whitney B, and today we're going to be doing a product review on the Boshia Charcoal Pour Pudding. Mmm. <laughs> That's a weird name for a product. It is a face mask, a wash away. Comes packaged like this. It has black and white swirls, and then when you mix it at the top, it turns into a dark gray. I thought this was kind of interesting because charcoal is usually used in face products for oil control and clarification, so it's geared towards problematic skin, so if you're oily and have acne. But this particular mask is interesting because it's supposed to also be hydrating. So when you think of acne products, most of the time if they're going to be clarifying and oil control, they're not necessarily hydrating. This claims to be both. So the black charcoal pour pudding, I'm not lying to you, like it says it on there, pour pudding. I didn't lie to you. The activated bamboo charcoal clarifies pores by removing dirt, oil, and impurities. Benchotan white charcoal moisturizes and balances skin by increasing hydration. Kaolin clay boosts these benefits by reducing excess oil without depriving the skin of key moisture. Skin is left deeply cleansed and balanced. That's the claim. I think it's kind of expensive. It's $38 for the entire tub, which is 2.8 fluid ounces. That is, that's a little bit expensive. Um, it does come with a little spatula, but overall, price, it's hefty. It's expensive for a mask. Um, packaging is really nice. It's a very sturdy container. Um, it smells really bad. I don't like the scent at all. Oh, Lord Jesus. And the texture is very firm. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do a demonstration and then we'll do the demo and come back with final thoughts. So I apologize for the lighting. It's a little bit yellow tone because it's 1 a.m. in the morning and I don't have any natural light. So it is packaged like this. You can see like the swirls and that's not print. Like that's the actual product. Where is my head? Hello. So you open it up. Will you peel this off? Oh, well, mine's not as pretty anymore because I guess like it's kind of shifted, but it's, do you see the swirl? It's a black and white swirl. That's kind of cool. I won't lie to you. And then I have some of the lit. Oh, that smells bad. Oh, it smells bad. What is that smell? You know, you can't stop smelling the smelly. It's like, that. <laughs> what is this? If you are sensitive to smells, this may not be for you. Like, go to Sephora and, like, open up the tester and sniff it before you buy it. <laughs> Recommendation number one. So, I'm going to take, I washed my face and I went ahead and toned. I always do a toner before I do a mask. I don't know. I just do. I do it. I'm going to just kind of, whoo, okay, there is that. And it comes with a handy little spatula, but I'm going to use all of the product on the lid first because it was expensive and I ain't got um, enough money in my life just to be throwing away products. So when you mix it onto your face, obviously black and white makes gray. <laughs> and I think if it's like any other charcoal mask, it's going to lighten up to a light gray when it's done drying. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm not using the spatula. I'm not that kind of person. And then with clean hands, y'all nasties, um, we're just going to spread this over my problem areas. Now for most people, that's going to be your T-zone. So you'll do a little bit on your forehead, down your nose, in your chin. Well, my whole skin is a problem zone. So we're just doing my whole face. Not too close to my hair though. Get all of that. Get all of your nose. You got pores all over that thing. Okay. So, it's called pudding. They call this a charcoal pudding. And I can kind of see why. Like, if you... It's like a Dairy Queen blizzard. Hey. Hey. Right. Oh, God. That looks scary. Look how white my teeth look. 1 a.m. Okay, don't forget that. It's 1 a.m. right now. Um, so, it's very thick. Like the consistency, can you look? Uh, it's barely near, but came off. So, oh, well, let's get the bottom of my chin too. 
I've covered all the areas that I want to cover and it really didn't take a lot of product I only dipped into it a couple of times so that's impressive cap it off it says to leave it on here I think 15 to 20 minutes yeah 15 to 20 minutes what time is it now I will be back in like 20 minutes I'll show you what it looks like when it's dried I'm guessing it's gonna lighten up quite a bit because I'm trying to look like through here where I first put it on and it's thin, it's a thin layer, it's kind of starting to lighten up a little bit. So I'll see you in like 20 minutes. I look scary. Bye -bye. Okay, it has been 20 minutes and it's still not fully dry. So I don't know if I applied too thick of a layer, which I don't think I did. But let me, let me bring you in. Let me show you. Hello! So if you can see, um, this area here is dry. It still has a sticky texture, like very rubbery. And, but the rest of it, as you can tell, is like a distinct line of not, if you, like, I where I guess I didn't like rub it in, there's like the black and white smear. So I think when you put this, you should do it in circular motions to mix the products evenly. I'll try that again the second time. But it's like, sticky it almost feels like a peel off mask but it's not it's a wash off so i'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes um if it stays this way then i guess this is just how it works girl look at those teeth though like hold on <laughs> i look like an emoji a terrifying like scary movie pop up out of the window kind of emoji but an emoji nonetheless i'll see you soon Okay, it's been a total, what time is it now? It's 1.34, so it's been over 30 minutes, and the mask is still like that, like, sticky, shiny look. Um, when I'm touching it, I'm getting a little bit of mask coming off. You see, it's like, kind of, it's peeling off, so the mask is ready to come off because it's doing that. It just, I guess, where I didn't like mix the white and the black fully because there's like white spot, white spot. Maybe that's why it's a little bit weird and like dry patch there and non, I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. So I'm going to wash it off and I will tell you my final thoughts on it. All right, so I just washed off the mask. First of all, um, it's not the kind that you can just apply water and take off like you're gonna have to have a rag to get all of that stuff off like my skin is tight like I feel like it claims to be really hydrating <laughs> my face is really taut I don't it doesn't feel like a hydrating mask it feels just like a traditional charcoal um, I mean my face feels smooth I have like active breakouts so you can't fix that but immediately after the mask I don't see any I'm gonna look at my pores well I feel like the blackheads on my nose are a little bit less noticeable <laughs> I'll let you know how it does overnight because sometimes the thing with masks when they claim to shrink pores which is actually impossible to do you can't shrink pore size or they claim to clear it out and keep it clean, it doesn't last. It looks nice right after, and then the next day your blackheads are like just magically back. But my first initial reaction to this, I don't like it. But right now, I don't like it. I'm gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna think about it. Now my teeth don't look as white. Ah, oh, what a bummer. This is the day after, or I guess it's technically the same day because that was about 2 a.m. when I stopped filming. And my skin has no difference from before the mask. The, um, I, I still, I don't like it. I don't like the mask. I think the smell is really overwhelming for me. If smells don't bother you, then that should be fine. But the actual benefit for the cost is not, it's not right. <laughs> there are other charcoal masks that are cheaper. Um, the little swirl thing, that's cute, but you're going to mix it on your face so it comes out as a dark gray color. So that's a little gimmicky to me. Like, I like the idea. It's pretty. It's fun. But for $38, it doesn't do such an amazing job that I want to keep using it for that money. Um, Origins has a clear improvement 
little charcoal mask. This is a mini size. The full size is still 20 something dollars, so at least 10 bucks cheaper for the same amount. And I actually like the Origins charcoal mask better. This, um, which you saw, it like dries weird and inconsistent. Like I had a patch that was that lightened up and then the rest of the face didn't. Um, I didn't feel that my face was that hydrated. It was actually really tight after the mask, which normally is what I expect from an oil acne pro mask. But when it claims to be super hydrating, that's not exactly the finding I wanted to have. So overall, I mean, it was nice. It didn't irritate my skin. It didn't cause any issues, but I don't think it's worth the money. If you want to splurge and you want to have like an aesthetically pleasing mask in your collection, then yeah, go ahead and get it. Um, I would ask Sephora for a sample first. So before you shell out that much money, go ahead and try a sample. I'm not going to buy it again. I'm kind of on the fence of maybe returning it because it just was terrible. Like that smell, I can't. Ugh. Oh, it's so nasty that I can't stop smelling it. Don't buy it. It's it's not. It's not good. There's other stuff out there that's better. So that was the uh, review of the Boshia Charcoal Pore Pudding. The pudding. I wanted to love you. I wanted to love you. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. And I will be filming many more product reviews. My whole little counter is just filled with products I'm going to try.